Welcome to Loose Leash Walking More Patterns. In the Loose Leash Walking Games lesson, you are introduced to figure eights. That pattern has a lot of benefits for teaching your dog to stay in position beside you. But in this lesson, we are going to go over even more patterns for you to try with your dog. These patterns are all great practice for your dog's focused walking skills. Don't worry about spending a long time practicing focused walking. Just do short bursts. Here's a reminder of the tips from the figure eights pattern as they apply to these patterns too. Remember to reward your dog often. Don't be afraid to lure your dog to start, then fade to rewarding every few steps. Gradually build up how many steps you move between rewards. Also remember to talk to your puppy, use lots of praise, and be exciting. You can also add the stop and go game to any of these patterns to mix things up. The first pattern we're going to talk about is the serpentine. This pattern is weaving between objects. This pattern is great for teaching your dog to stick with you through more subtle sideways movements. Start by setting up four or more cones or objects in a line. Start with less and work your way up to more objects. Have your dog sitting beside you focused on you. Give your let's go cue and start walking. As you are walking, weave in between the objects. When you hit the last object, turn around and go back the other way. Next, we are going to talk about circle work. Moving in a circle teaches your dog to move with you. This pattern is great for getting continuous motion and you can throw in turns, stops, and speed changes. This pattern is also great for teaching your dog not to cut in front of you or behind you and to stay beside you. This is a very common pattern for agility and obedience dogs. Start with your dog beside you and decide if you want your dog on the inside or the outside of the circle. Start moving in a large circle at a brisk pace. Reward your dog at your side for sticking with you. Switch between having your dog on your right and left side and switch which direction around the circle you go. Don't be afraid to mix it up. If you are planning to do agility with your dog, you might want to try running instead of just walking. As your dog gets more advanced, play around with how fast or slow you move. Changing your pace really keeps your dog on their toes. You can also change up how large or small the circle is to influence how tight your dog has to turn. Also throw in turns and direction changes to keep things interesting. Next we are going to talk about the square and the L pattern. Both of these patterns focus on teaching the dog to do sharp turns, with the L pattern adding in an about turn. For the square pattern, set some cones or other objects up in a square. Move around the square at a fairly brisk pace. When you reach a corner, turn 90 degrees towards the next object. You may have to lure your dog through this sharp turn. Perch work can help with the rear end awareness required to make these turns really tight. Make sure to move both directions around the square and have your dog practice turning to their left and right as well as being on the outside or inside of your turns. The L pattern is similar to the square, just missing one corner. Start at one end and move towards the corner. At the corner, turn 90 degrees towards the other end object, like the turns from the square pattern. When you reach the last object, perform an about turn, which is when you turn 180 degrees and go back the direction you came from. Repeat through the pattern, making sure you mix up having your dog on the inside or outside for the about turns. That's it for this lesson. Make sure to mix things up throughout these patterns and add things like pace changes and the stop and go game. And most importantly, make sure you're having fun with your dog.